Hey y'all, thanks for joining for this video. Um, if you are new here, thanks for taking a chance on me. I'm Kelly. I'm going to show you how I did this plan in my new A5 Plum Paper uh, Hourly Planner. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you learn a couple tricks. So the first thing is I have some pre-planned pages um, in a notebook from Capital Sheet. Uh, I don't know if they call it a notebook, it's sticker storage or something. I forgot the name. Anywho, I have um, pre-planned some things over there. So I got this washi and I cut the little pumpkin stickers and added them to the washi. Because, you know, you look at these beautiful kits that people sell and trust me, I buy tons of them, <laughs> but um, you can also challenge yourself to make your own little coordinating kit and I had so much fun doing this. Um, now I am going to trim down this full box. So on the plum paper, on the sidebar, a full box from a normal kit or ha these are happy planner stickers. Um, will almost fit there. You just have to trim it down a tiny, tiny bit. So this other sticker that I ended up using on the sidebar is meant to be for a um, Happy Planner monthly view, but it ended up fitting great over there. No lie, I was so worried after I bought this planner, I thought, man, are any of my stickers gonna fit this thing? Because I am a big sticker and decorative planner. Um, so I was a little worried and I couldn't really find many videos on YouTube about the A5 Hourly, but um, I'm gonna show y'all a couple things that um, I'm learning here by trial and error. The first thing is you can cut the quarter boxes and they will fit in an hour slot. You just have to cut them down to fit horizontally. So that's what I'm doing here. And the boxes that I'm using are Chrissy Ann Designs. Um, I will say plum paper, you have to be very careful um, when repositioning stickers, but I think it really helped that I had the stickers stored on the waxy paper because it seemed like I could move them around a lot more easily. So this first hour is from 7 to 8, and even though I'm not leaving the hour visible, um, that is the time whenever I am doing the car run, taking my kids to school in the morning, and I'll put a little car icon on that. Um, the days of the week that I used were from Planner Kate. They are the Jen's Plans script. And now I'm adding some day dots from Chrissy and Design. So 
So bear with me on this part. I wasn't really sure where I wanted to go next. I want to mark off my main working hours between 9 and 5. I mean, trust me, I work outside those hours. When I wake up in the morning, I check my email. When I'm in the car line, I am checking and answering email, setting up meetings. Um, but as far as like, you know, my quote work day, I'm marking it off with this washi between 9 and 5. Um, and then what I'm going to do next is put in at the top a place for my workouts and then kind of in the middle I'm going to put um, a box for my most important thing of the day and a checklist of my top three for every day. But I'm putting another little washi strip here in the three o'clock hour. That's when I go pick up my daughter from school. And same thing there. I'm always working in the car, working on the go. Sometimes I'm in a meeting in my car. Um, or if not, you know, I'm doing things that can be done on the go at that time. Since I'm just sitting there in the line a lot of the time, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so usually I am responding to emails and things during that hour. So I decided to use the Zig Clean Color Dot and mark that on the days when I'm going to work out the top. And then um, on the 4 o'clock hour, I put some more um, dots down where I can just list some more to-dos. And then next, I'm getting a um, half box and turning it on the side. And it doesn't fit perfectly in the column, but it's good enough for me. Um, and those are from Christian Designs, the boxes that I'm using. And I'm going to kind of stagger those and then alternate my top priority um, or top three list. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell y'all. Um, remember I showed y'all these little sticker books in my haul video? Or if not, you can watch it. Um, it's in my playlist. Um, I have been using the heck out of this. And I spent a lot of time this weekend putting my favorite stickers in there. So that when I'm making videos, I don't have to flip back and forth between tons of different sticker books that I frequently use. And it is working so great. So I'm absolutely loving those. The little books come from Fern Creek stickers. And then these scripts and checkboxes that I'm using come from Modern Martha. Now I'm just going to put another little decorative washi strip at the bottom. You can see I used the same gingham washi and I added some little transparent hearts to it to give it a more custom look. Um, and now pretty soon I'm going to go and decorate um, the other side of the spread. First I'm going to put down my little forks and knives that I like to put for my meal planning. Um, but the other side of the spread is going to be real similar, so I'm just going to kind of um, 
speed that up rather than talking through it because I'm going to use a lot of the same similar stickers. Um, you will see in the next little clip where I'm planning Thursday through Sunday, um, I'm going to a vow renewal ceremony for my friend's anniversary on Saturday. So it's not my anniversary, but um, I am going to an event, which is really exciting. I never go <laughs> anywhere like that. So um, you'll see that's my main thing that I put on the weekend. Um, and then I'm using this little Fern Creek sticker in the sidebar that says this week where I can just write any additional to do's that don't necessarily need a fall just on a particular day. And I don't know if y'all have noticed, um, I don't necessarily have my cleaning list mapped out on this spread. On my top three, I plan to write in on every day clean, noom, and water because those are the top three things I need to focus on. And then in the back of this planner, there are some to-do lists that I will use for my cleaning and grocery list each week. So now I'm marking some meetings that I have with work um, on Monday and Wednesday. And then I think um, I'm going to go ahead and plan the second part of the spread here pretty soon, but I'm just finishing a couple things, putting in um, my little car stickers for when I go drop off the kids in the morning. And I'm also going to add some color guard stickers at the bottom for when my son has his practice.
So now I'm using my cute little um, icons from Fern Creek stickers and putting in the days when I'm going to either upload or film and edit my YouTube videos. Also on Tuesday, why are my two favorite shows both coming on at the same time on Tuesday? How problematic. <laughs> I watch Bachelor in Paradise, that's coming out on Tuesday, and then my new other favorite show, Only Murders in the Building, it comes on on Tuesday too. I'll be watching a lot of TV on Tuesday apparently, but um, I hope y'all like how the spread turned out. Um, I mainly film and edit on the weekend and then I upload on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and uh, sometimes Sundays. Oh, I forgot to put my day dots at the top, so I'm kind of adding those here, but I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I think, you know, you do have to work with this planner a little bit more to, you know, fit what you need in there, and I don't really use the times. I probably could have purchased the lined vertical instead, but um, I kind of like the times being printed as a guide so that I kind of just put stuff in the right place. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, thanks for joining me in this video. I would love if you would subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, I plan to continue putting out content and I welcome any feedback from y'all in the comments below. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will talk to y'all in my next one. Bye.